morning guys and welcome to Lule Market. We're here on a Saturday to have a look around the market and the market itself dates back to Moorish times. Artisans, the local community and farmers have been coming here for many, many years. It's a lovely place to come and visit. Let's show you around. What's special about Lule Market, you've got local product, seasonal product, fresh, very competitively priced, often cheaper than the supermarkets. So you've got great food at great prices. Everything from fruit to vegetables and a lot more. I found a honey stall. Local honey made by local bees, completely organic and so many different types. Pollen, rosemary, multifloral, orange, raspberry, advocar, and carob. So much honey. Really fabulous selection of fresh product. All local. We've got tomatoes, pepinos, which is little cucumbers, courgettes, carrots, red peppers, lots of um, cauliflower, lots of nice fresh greens if you're into that sort of thing. Mushrooms, melons, mango, kiwi, two different types of um, one of these things. They're things that begin with P and end in R. That will be pears and some avocados. Beautiful stuff, all seasonal. And the market's not just about the fruit and vegetable. In this community, it's about people coming together, chatting, catching up over a lovely coffee in one of the outdoor coffee shops. The market is so popular, it even features on some of the tour routes and things like that because there's a lot of interesting architecture and the buzz of the market attracts all sorts. These guys, really interesting stall. Couple of things I haven't seen before, black carrots and despite what my cameraman said, the bananas are from Tavira. So you don't have to go all the way to the Caribbean or Antigua. Come to Lule and get your local bananas. This guy, great character, and he's also got a great selection of baby plants and too many herbs for me to mention. All fresh, all local, just a fabulous selection of product at Lule Market. This is all local cheeses, region's famous for it. And um, can I have, uh, yeah, one each. Black pepper and normal. Look, I tell you what, do me six, one of everything to try. And what were you saying the flavors were? This is strong and this is soft. Great, fantastic. I'll take This is only gold. Perfect. I can grill that, can't I, with a little bit of walnut and oil, be lovely, and some honey, yeah? Uh, white, yes. Fantastic. How long have you been coming to this market? How long have you been selling here? Very well. Excellent. <laughs> a little insider tip. <laughs> don't worry if you don't speak Portuguese. These guys have been serving you for many years. Just point at what you want. They'll get it. You'll get what you want. Don't worry about the prices. Most of the stuff is priced as well, so you're not gonna pay ridiculous prices. They're gonna treat you just like they would a local. So don't be intimidated by the market. Come and enjoy it. Behind me, you can see the main market, built in 1908, Art Nouveau style, been going strong ever since then. Let's go and have a look around inside the main market. More at a cork stand, local cork, but interestingly, this guy's been coming here for years. Again, several generations, here every, every market day inside. And he makes all this stuff himself, local cork, made by a local guy who's been doing it for years. Uh, he's a little bit shy to talk English, but if you come down and take some serious interest in his product, and it's worth doing, right by the interest, beautiful, beautiful products, Genuinely local, genuinely nice guy. Mm -hmm. 
Another thing that the area is famous for is this piri piri and the piri piri sauce. And here you've got more piri piri sauce than I've ever seen probably. Word of warning, some of this stuff is super hot. We can't possibly show you everything in this market, but we can show you the more unusual stuff. And I'm just gonna try some fig. This is fig with almond and lemon. Correction. I am being corrected. This is traditional. This is a traditional fig and almond. They've got lots of different flavors. Very healthy, very organic, local, lovely. Being so near to the sea, naturally it has a fantastic fish area as well. It's quite a large part of this market. Every type of local fish imaginable, nice and fresh. And another little insider tip, the fish area tends to shut down soonest. So do come before midday, otherwise the fish will have been removed. These guys have been up getting this fish since like four o'clock in the morning. So they shut about midday. You You've got that. There's no sardina. There's just carapau. 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 But there is also local dorado, local sea bass, and carapau, which looks a bit like sardina. Look, this stuff is delicious and so reasonably priced. Compared to the supermarkets, you can get a real quality wine here for a fraction of the price. So that was the main market hall. It really is worth a visit. And if you're staying at some of the resorts, it's about 10 kilometers inland, come in a taxi, actually taxi ideal because of the parking situation, and spend half a day here looking around, doing something different. Well worth a visit. The main hall, lovely. They don't have it every Saturday, but they often do little arts and crafts market where local artisans come down bringing the stuff all handmade quite unusual and well worth a little look around and here i can see everything from a minion through to a wave carved out of granite typical is a little stand like this and just met gilda lovely lady do you live locally yeah, in Portimao. In Portimao, yeah. that's pretty local. It's just a little bit further along the coast. And all of this stuff, you make yourself? Yes, I make all of this. And how long, I mean, there's some beautiful things here. For example, this one. How long would it take oh, you to make something there's like There's a lot. Yeah? A lot of time. 10 hours? Yeah. 50 hours? Yeah. 50. 50. And how much would something like that, can, may I touch yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 45 euros. So if you think about and it, and you can put the essence on a light, on a, on a light, and the smoke, a smoke, yeah, oh, amazing, yeah, guys, the smoke's coming out the chimney. It's a lovely aroma as well. And I couldn't help but notice these beautiful waves, hand carved out of stone. Mm -hmm. And I actually found this lovely lady. Sorry, your name was I'm Rita. Rita, another good name, Rita. I can pronounce that. And Rita hand carves all this herself. Yeah. She's local. She's from Lagos. And you were telling me how this works. You go to different places most weeks, they have a different theme here. Yeah. So here every weekend is a different team, yep. different subjects. And normally it's one per month. Right. Yeah. So that I'm here yep. with this artist. And then so you go to other places with And to other well. places around. Yeah. Yeah and obviously handmade out of stone mm -hmm. and in keeping with the local culture yeah. the sea etc exactly, exactly really delightful i told you you get almost anything here and i have found matilda who can actually present you with your guardian angel where else are you going to find matilda and handmade Guardian Angels. Matilda. Hello. What made you decide to make Guardian Angels? Well, it's a long story, but uh, it's connected with children uh, because of my work and also because each angel, it's like it was a call that 
we need to give something to the people, some right. message to the people. And so each angel has something to give to someone. I met Marcus and I just can't even begin to explain what he's doing. So Marcus <laughs> is going to explain and then I've got a question. But before he does that, I've got a question I wanted to ask. Is that homemade? The gun, no. no. Ah, so it's I not. bought it. Yeah. You bought it. <laughs> but uh, every piece is handmade, obviously, right. yeah. Okay. This is a tufting gun. So the technique, it's called uh, a tufting. Right. And what I do, well, this is like a teamwork. Yeah. My wife does the illustrations. I put it here on yeah. this, on this uh, fabric. Right. And then I do the, the tufting parts with this uh, little fella. Now that was truly interesting. We've seen so much. Black carrots, guardian angels, local grown bananas. Come see it yourself. This has been Nick to Algarve. I'll see you next time.